morning. We are on day five of Ride Like a Driver, our 3,000 mile, 75 day trip across America from San Diego to St. Augustine, Florida. We are now in the sand dunes, just coming out of it, of California. If you didn't know, it's a whole playland of apparently sand dunes where people have sand buggies and jeeps and all kinds of recreational vehicles that they go to for a week out of a time. And I guess it's spring break, so a lot of people are there. And that's just where we happened to, you know, park two nights ago and took our rest day there. And gave us a really cool neighbor who is a believer and took Chuck on the craziest, most exhilarating ride in his sand flat, which is a very fancy red sand buggy. Um, had a blast. We went and talked to them last night before we went to bed. Watched another beautiful sunset. It was a great day for Chuck to take a break from the bike, rest his muscles. We got some nonprofit work done because that never goes away. But it's good, you know, it's stuff I can sit and do. It's, it's stuff we've been doing for, uh, for months while I was recuperating from surgeries and fractures. And so always enjoyable, even if it's just office work and stuff. Um, so today we have another beautiful sunny day. We're always very thankful when they're dry and pretty flat right now. So Chuck's probably on his 10th mile or so, I think. Um, had a really good ride. We started, yeah, a good half hour ago, more than that. Um, and are getting better at breaking down camp in an RV because you have to secure everything like Imagine if you're in an airplane, right? They secure the cabin. It's the exact same thing. You cannot have anything on a countertop or it'll fly off while you're driving. So you could probably see back there. We stick our Nespresso coffee machine in a bag and it fits right in our, I've measured it before we left, fits right into the sink. And then we have an extra little um, container that we stick like water bottles in. Um, when we left, we stuck a lot of water bottles in the freezer. So that helps keep the freezer cold. And slowly we're defrosting them and we're about at that point where we need to get some more water today. Um, so we have a destination today. It's Blythe, B-L-Y-T-H-E, California. Um, we'll get there hopefully mid-afternoon if all goes well. That's always our plan. And we really need to do laundry today. So. Our goal is to find a post office and hit a laundromat. And we can do, we have three loads of laundry, we can do all at the same time. So I like that idea. You know, I don't only have to wait for the cycle to be done. We can do it all at once at the laundromat. And we just had a really good, good morning, good conversation. And our verse for today is put on the whole armor of God which feels very fitting as we are embarking on this journey. We know it's also not a phys just a physical journey as all of our lives are. They, it's a spiritual journey, right? Everything is a spiritual journey. And as much as physically we need to take care of our bodies, spiritually we have to put on armor too. And you know, those are the weapons of prayer and knowing truth, reading the Bible, and girding ourselves. And so those are great verses to read. <laughs> um, and really, really helps us as we go through these rides because we're asking God to help us, protect us, go before us, go beside us, go behind us, and for the enemy who is always trying to screw with us on this ride. <laughs> and, you know, I think God really does encourage us to partner with him and invite him into our lives and pray for all of those things. You know, and the Bible says you have not to ask God. So we are asking and we're praying in faith that God will keep us safe, that he'll lead us to the right people. And our neighbor even was on his bike. He brings his bike to that dune. And um, he came over to check. 
walk and read for him. So just really beautiful. And in the middle of nowhere, God brings his people to remind us he's with us and watching over us. And we are not alone. So I'm just reminding you that today. Be blessed.